whenever somebody has a stroke, it doesn't just affect one person. A whole group of people and parents and siblings and children and friends. All the doctors and nurses and uh, the professionals at the hospital were just amazing. How they uh, treated me and how they treated my family and hopefully everybody gets that kind of treatment and I presume they do. They are really professionals. Average Monday night at the Snows, um, she made meatloaf for dinner and, and I chowed hugely. When I asked him to take the garbage out, he was just standing there and I thought he was being silly. And I said, what are you doing? And I looked over and his head was slumped. And he just kind of something that I couldn't make sense of. Called 911 right away because I didn't know how he could have a stroke. Seemingly a 42-year-old healthy person. We went to a local hospital and then they transferred me from there to a, a UC Medical Center. The doctor told me when he came out from his first CAT scan that he had had a massive stroke and uh, time was of the essence. They administered the TPA and uh, I was paralyzed and blind on my left side uh, for about 48 hours and I'm here to tell about it 15 years later. The stroke team at the uh, University of Cincinnati uh, had everything to do with my recovery. The Comprehensive Stroke Center at the University of Cincinnati has been around for a long time. We have been a unified group in terms of neurologists, neurosurgeons, emergency physicians, and rehabilitation specialists for, for many, many years, and that, because that's what stroke patients need. The kind of cases that are done include bypasses, so vascular bypasses of uh, uh, intracranial vessels. We do endovascular acute ischemic stroke cases. We take care of a lot of complex ischemic stroke cases that require surgery. The model that we have in Cincinnati, which isn't necessarily feasible every place else in the world, is a model whereby a team of physicians are able to physically get to about 10, 11 hospitals in town. And the hospitals that we can't physically get to, we, we, uh, uh, we care for patients by telemedicine. Hi, Mary. I'm Dr. Cotri. How are you right now? I can actually see the patient with the robot, view the patient, examine them. The detail of the camera is detailed enough that I can see their pupils change. Um, look at my finger here and follow it all the way this way. And via that, I can provide care and expertise to a much broader reach than I can drive to. The other thing that we provide is EEG monitoring. Having an EEG on a patient who is unresponsive, as so far as it is seven days a week, will actually identify seizures and in so doing, potentially give an explanation for, for something we may not have an explanation for. The goal of patient care is to make sure that everyone who is caring for the patient does what is best for that particular patient. What that means is communication. The way in which we do that here is a truly integrative process. We have a weekly meeting where we sit and we discuss cases in open forum and everybody gets to say this is what I would have done and here's how I would have done it differently. One of the great advancements and new developments in stroke in general is the government deciding to fund a stroke network throughout the United States. This is called StrokeNet and we are the coordinating center for that net and there will be a data management center and really all of the trials that are funded by the government related to stroke, whether it's acute treatment, whether it's prevention, or whether it's recovery, are going to be organized and accomplished through this network. Why that's important is because we can offer the very best available cutting-edge treatments to people in our community, which may not be available other places in the country at that point in time. And for example, people in this community were the first people to be treated with TPA in the country that probably gave them a chance to have an outcome they otherwise wouldn't have had had they not participated in a trial. All of us care so deeply and we sacrifice so much to be here and take care of stroke. Stroke is all of our passion to try and find the cure, to try and find the right treatments, to try and help people recover after the fact. The greatest thing that has happened to me in the last 15 years is having had the last 15 years. <laughs> what more can I say? We have told so many people about the different warning signs because you know, if you don't tell people what happened and tell them what you saw, then nobody's gonna know when their parent or their husband or their wife is having a stroke. Because of the UC Neuroscience Institute, I'm here to tell this story to everyone.